with part of Boruto's time skip training being revealed to us by Kijimoto, he has given us a chance to use some of the hints that he has given us to fill in the missing spots when it comes to Boruto's training and how he changed throughout the time skip. Because it is quite visible that Boruto did not only change in his attitude and the improvements he must have made in his abilities, but he has also changed in his character, which is evident by the new fighting style that he has developed and the way he interacts with the characters around him. First of all, we have to talk about one of the most important changes that we have seen Boruto undergo during the time skip, and that is that Boruto started learning how to use his sword. As we see in chapter 5, that Boruto started off his training by learning how to use Kenjutsu. Boruto, just like Sasuke in the past, mostly focused on using kunais and hand-to-hand -hand combat, as seen in both pre-time skip Naruto and pre-time skip Boruto. However, just like Sasuke, Boruto has now learned how to use his sword in the time skip. And there's a few things that we have to keep in mind. Just knowing how the karma works, especially version 2 karma, Boruto should in theory be able to tap into the thousands of years that Momoshiki and Kinchiki have when it comes to using sword and various types of Kenjutsu. Because we saw Kinchiki, who is predominantly using all types of weapons as shown in all of his fights, Kinchiki is in Momoshiki, so Boruto would be able to tap into his experience and we also saw Fuse Momoshiki use a staff and pick it up quite easily even though Momoshiki was never shown to be using a staff. But using Kinshiki's abilities, he transformed his chakra into a staff and started using it versus Naruto and Sasuke. I'm not saying that Boruto is going to turn his chakra into a sword, but all I'm saying is that in theory, he should be able to tap into Kinshiki's data and use it as his own. But since we haven't seen Boruto use his karma, maybe he didn't do that and simply learned how to use his sword from ground up, just like Sasuke would have done during the time skip. And who better to learn about using a sword than Sasuke, who has been shown to use his sword in so many incredible ways. He is very versatile when he comes to using a sword. He is good without the sword, just like we saw pre time skip, and he is even better with a sword at his hands. So Boruto would have learned how to use Kenjutsu to a similar level to Sasuke, as Boruto has finished his training in just one year of spending time with Sasuke. But because of what Sasuke told us, saying that Boruto seemed to have mastered almost everything that he could teach him, it would mean that Boruto would have a similar arsenal to Sasuke. He would have mastered all the abilities that don't require the Sharingan or the Mangeku Sharingan. Because let's examine some of the abilities that Boruto possessed before. Boruto pre time skip, he had mastered both wind, lightning, and also water style. So he could be able to use all three of these elements out of the five. Which meant that in the time skip, he would have to learn things like fire style and earth style, which Sasuke is known for. We have seen Sasuke as an Uchiha use fire style multiple times so that's not even a problem and also in the novels and in the anime we saw that Sasuke used earth style to create Sakura's wedding ring so we know for sure that Sasuke knows how to use both of these elements and we also have to factor in that because they have these various elements to their disposal Boruto and Sasuke should be able to use various types of Keke Genka as shown in Sasuke where he was able to use ice style which is both air and water style so Boruto may be able to replicate both of these things. But one thing is for sure, the one ability I know for sure that Boruto is going to be getting is Phoenix Flower Jutsu because we know that even pre time skip Boruto was learning how to use his shuriken and since he has to learn an element style which would be fire he might have actually mastered this ability too as he was already doing his shuriken training so he could easily mix it up with the new fire style abilities that he has possessed. But if you pay even more attention to Boruto's abilities that we have already seen, you would see just how Sasuke-like all of these abilities appear to be. Boruto created his own jutsu called Uzuhiko, and it is quite similar to Kirin because both of these jutsus uses elements of the earth and Kirin would be lightning and Boruto would be the planet's rotation and incorporate it into one of their jutsus which would be for Kirin would be the Jidori and for Boruto would be his Rasengan. Both of these guys are able to take natural elements of the planet or the earth and use it as an advantage. 
Boruto also has a similar lightning ability to Sasuke. Sasuke had the Jidori stream which he used a lot defensively and both offensively at times and Boruto also has this new lightning style ability that was shown in the bug fight where he literally surrounds himself with some sort of lightning. I don't know what the name is called, it doesn't seem like we have been given a name of the sort for the moment, but just like was foreshadowed in the past, Boruto has mastered his own lightning style ability that isn't the Jidori. But this isn't the only similarities, because Boruto and Sasuke now fight in a similar manner. Not only do they fight using a sword, but they rely on their hacks abilities and their simple IQ. Boruto has been shown to be a genius, Minato levels of IQ, both shown in the tuning exams. And now he has access to some crazy hacks. We know that Uchiha's are very smart and use a lot of hacks abilities, but Boruto's who's Uzuhiko and likely some of the other abilities he may have awakened during the time skip might actually be hack space just like Sasuke. Sasuke in general, he excels in both close, mid and long distance fighting. Bored, so with the abilities that we know right now, we know that he excels in both close and mid distance fighting. We haven't seen some long range jutsus, but he may have developed them just like Sasuke did in the time skip. So all around, Bored, so seems to have balanced out his stats, but to me, he mostly seems like a hacks IQ based type of fighter. And this to me is arguably one of the best fighting styles out there. Just like Jigen had to realize, those hacks like Sasuke being able to swap himself with various characters is very hard to deal with and this might literally help Boruto end up winning because we know with his Uzuhiko it is something that is permanent, it continues on over and over and over until Boruto decides that oh I'm gonna cut you slack and let you survive. So just by that Boruto has his almost Sharingan swap level of ability or hacks with just that one jutsu and he has probably developed most multiple different jutsus that could be very handy. That could also help him deal with various types of fighters. As we have a couple statements that Sasuke using his IQ and his hacks seems to be a more dangerous threat than Naruto himself. And with Sasuke who trained him, there is definitely signs that Boruto is this type of fighter too. He used the Uzuhiko on code, but he also managed to implant a toad during that fight. I won't lie, this gives me a lot of Kashin Koji vibes as he literally did the same thing, but I can't deny that there has to be some sort of Sasuke influence in this stealth type of mission that he was organizing because I really can't see Naruto doing something similar. Naruto is the GOAT, but that just doesn't match his fighting style. Although it is amazing that Boruto started learning how to use these ninja to base abilities, it may very well be the case and may be foreshadowing that Boruto, unlike Kawaki, he hasn't learned any Otsuki based abilities. This could very well be the case. The first thing that we have to point out is that Boruto really hasn't been using his karma and all the abilities that he awakened are for him to not have to rely on the karma. This is great and it can literally be seen with the various abilities that he has awakened. Instead of using his karma like an Utsuki and going to Ko's dimension, he, he ended up using the Flying Raijin. And this could also be the ability that he used to land on Ko's face instead of using his karma. Some of Boruto's abilities that he has picked up in the timescape is for him not to use his karma. And this could be a dynamic that both Boruto and Kawaki possess. Where Boruto is the guy who relies on using ninjutsu based abilities like all ninjas do and Kawaki is the one who dives deep into the Otsutsuki based abilities as we have seen Kawaki fly in the time skip. It could be the case that Boruto still doesn't even know how to use these various Otsutsuki abilities like flying and this could be a very interesting plot point and would go alongside this and would go alongside the struggles that Naruto had to deal with because in Naruto's own training he could not focus on learning how to use Kuruma's abilities because of the dangers it poses. It literally almost killed Jiraiya, so they had to cut that part of the training and focus on various other things. This is why Naruto didn't really grow too much during his time skip compared to the likes of Sasuke. Boruto may be facing a similar issue, but when it comes to the karma, Boruto has grown a lot when we see the ninjutsu based abilities that he has awakened, 
but it could be the case that he hasn't grown a lot when it comes to the otsutsuki based abilities, as due to Momoshiki and him merging, he doesn't want to use the karma at all, causing him to mainly only use ninjutsu and shinobi based abilities, compared to Kawaki who can use various otsutsuki abilities and Ishiki's abilities as his karma doesn't pose any problems and we know that Ishiki is not going to possess Kawaki's body like Momoshiki used to do in the past. But I won't just say that they have a similar fighting style or that they simply both use a sword and that's why they are so similar. I would also go as far as to say that Boruto possesses the same mentality as Sasuke. Maybe this is what he has picked up during the time skip, or simply ever since Sasuke got turned into a tree. But Boruto, at least right now, is showing me the same level of discipline and the same level of mental fortitude that Sasuke had in both his younger years and in his time skip years. Because ever since Sasuke saw Itachi destroy his entire clan, he has been a man on his mission. He has been trying to do everything, every move that Sasuke made then on was calculated so that he would be able to get rid of Itachi. And Boruto, it is quite the same. Some people are saying if Code is the reason why Sasuke ended up getting turned into a tree, why didn't Boruto try and kill Code? Why did Boruto not kill Code automatically? The thing is, Boruto isn't blinded by his hatred. Unlike Sasuke, I won't lie, Sasuke was literally blinded by his hatred, but Boruto is more focused on that goal of saving Sasuke and killing someone versus protecting someone, these are two different types of scenarios but require the same level of mental fortitude that both Sasuke and Boruto possess. As Boruto, even though he hates Code and was easily able to kill him, he went and let Code survive so that Code could end up guiding him to where the Tentails was, and so that he would be able to take care of Sasuke and also he went so far to get rid of the Uzuhiko to help Code fight against these new threats. He wasn't blinded by his hatred for Code, but he was focused on the goal that he had at hand, which was to find a way to get Sasuke back. Boruto trying to attack the Sasuke clone could also be a hint that Kijimoto gave us. By killing or destroying these Shinshu clones, they could end up reverting the people who have been bitten. That might actually end up being the case. But regardless of that, Boruto is going to have to confront that version of the Tentails, being Hidari, and it's going to be very interesting to see how both of their fighting styles end up clashing, because the matchups that we are seeing right now, especially with Jura and Kawaki, and also with Hidari and Boruto, it seems like we're going to have people that have similar fighting styles end up fighting each other with Hidari against Boruto, with Hidari possessing similar abilities to Sasuke, and Jura with Kawaki. But you say, what is the connection between Kawaki and Jura? Are they really the same as some theories may say? Watch this video right here to find out the true answer. Is Jura really a clone of Kawaki?